There is nothing more annoying than out of sync audio when you're watching a video. Is that better? That's better. I'll show you how it's done. Upload the video and the audio file into iMovie and then drag the video file into the timeline. Click and drag the audio file so that it is placed underneath the video file in the timeline. You should now be able to see two sets of audio waveforms the audio files in green and the video files in blue. If you can't see that blue waveform, click view and then show audio waveforms. The most important thing is that you sync the audio up before you start editing the video footage. If not, you will have to sync up every single clip and it will take so much longer. When you're filming a video, do yourself a favour and clap two or three times so that you can see those spikes in the audio waveforms and use them to sync up your audio much quicker. But if it's too late for that, you just need to look closely for the patterns. You can drag the audio file around to different points on the video file and that's how we're going to sync it up. If you can't quite figure it out by looking at it, you can also listen to the audio. Speaking of great audio, if you like the song that I'm using in this video, you can get it on Licked. Licked is a chart music licensing platform which allows you to license popular music for use in your videos without the copyright claims. Click the link in the description for a discount on your first track. Now let's get back to syncing. Find a point in the green waveform which looks like it matches a point in the blue waveform and drag the files until they line up as closely as you can. You can zoom in using two fingers on the trackpad and dragging them outwards to line this up even closer. Now it's just about fine tuning it, so have a listen, see what it sounds like. If, if it, it sounds, sounds like, like there's a bit of an echo, echo, you're close but not quite there yet. It should sound like there's only one audio track playing. Once you've got it perfect, drag the audio waveform on your video file down to 0% or you can detach it and delete it from the timeline altogether. And there you have perfectly synced audio and video in iMovie. Subscribe to this channel for more useful videos like this one, and don't forget that you can license this track as well as popular chart music from Licked.